Who is the mo the worst slash most annoying girl at Laporte? Uh, hell. I'm sorry, but y'all gonna hear me talk about this girl. I really just didn't like her. She was a snitch. Don't nobody like a snitch. Oh, I think I rolled my eyes wrong. Nobody like a snitch. And yes, the Starburst is good. Get you some. Well, some of those things scripted or was it all real? It's all real, baby. You got paid me for script. Gel or not. Um. Did you guys did you guys really want to be with a girl? Or did you do it because y'all were bored? I'm really gay. I dated girls before I went to jail. Some of my longest relationships was with girls. So I remember the gay. I don't really care about it. Yeah, I like it all. I like all that. <laughs> Oh, Gay. Um, but on the show I did it because I was bored. I really didn't care about having no girlfriend in jail. That shit weird to me. I ain't even gonna lie. That's so weird. I know I did it, but y'all, I was bored. And to be honest, I dated the girl. I seen her flirt with my brother. Slash friend, my friend, I called my brother, another girl. And I told her, I was like, I wrote her a note. I was like, I don't want you. You know, that's weird. If you want my brother, fuck with my brother. I don't really care. I'm not here for relationships. And she like, I don't know, we just broke up. She kind of got mad. But she ain't break up being that. She kind of was like, why you write me this note? Da, 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 da. And I was just like, I don't care. I'm done with you for real, kind of. So we broke up, and then like kind of around my birthday time, we dated again. But she pursued me. I ain't pursue her for real. And then we dated, and I broke up with her again because she drama filled. So it was really like, mm, it was cool, and then it was boring. So I did it because I was bored. Um. Oh, plus the first time after we broke up, I tried to. Like, I don't walk up on her own that, but, like, I would talk to somebody. She would try to get in my conversation. I would tell her, like, get on somewhere. You annoying as fuck. I used to call her pussy seller. And I just talked so bad to the girl. Let's just say that I bullied her out of one of my classes. And I ain't no bully. But she was just so annoying. It was like, get away from me. Like, huh. This was funny though. She was like, "Can I go talk to the um the principal person?" Ew, it's my hair though. And she was like, "I said you finna go switch classes, huh?" She said no. Whole time she got her schedule switched. She was out of all my classes. I was like, "Okay, yeah." Back to how shit was for you. Did you really date Jesse on the show? Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I really broke up with her too. <laughs> Did it help you grow as a person? The show, they're talking about the show. I don't really think so. I ain't really need no help. Plus, I have been in like three facilities before I got there, so how much help did I need? Um. Who was your best friend at Lepore? I answered that already, but Mata. And Ari. Ariana Davis. For a short period of time. What was the deal at night? If y'all got up or talked, what happened? 
Um, some people will let us talk. Sometimes we have to keep it close, right? But me and my little group, man, we would sleep with passing the notes at night. It don't matter if you all across the room. We, I gotta go get something to drink. I'm glad we, used to, eh, that one like, eh. We used to, just know, a note was getting passed. It don't matter if we had to get a staff to pass it for us. It was most definitely getting passed. We was most definitely teed. But you get rolled up. Um, can I have a candy on my teeth? Um, when did you start writing music? I've been writing music my whole life. It's weird. Because I could write better when I was younger, but my songs probably wasn't nothing. I just used to put, like, a lot of different songs together. So, like, say I was singing Alicia Keys, I would throw some Keish Cole lyrics in there along with a little Beyonce. Just everything. I would even have, like, some dude song lyrics, like Trey songs. I would throw some of them in there. So it was really like a jumble up of a lot of songs. So I've been writing them since I was young. I've been singing since. As long as I remember, I used to be comfortable singing like. Excuse me. Like, I used to have stage fright. But I used to get solos. I wouldn't take them because I had stage fright. I used to not be able to sing in front of people. But I would blow down in the shower. So I'm on forever. Do you have kids? Slash want kids. My baby's my kid. Now I'm just playing. I don't have no kids though. And yeah, I want kids. Personally, I want a lot of kids. I want a little gang, a little fortress, a little kingdom. So, I have all them kids. Um, How did Madison change you as a person? I wasn't at Madison, babe. So, you won't get that question answered. Whoever asked that, you should check your seasons and be right next time on who and where they are. Where half where half uh where half the people only gay for the show? Most definitely. You know how many girls in there had boyfriends on the outs as they call it? The outs. How many girls just came in there and they was getting piped down? If you know piped down me. Yeah, they was they was not even really gay in there. But I mean, I don't care. In my opinion, I think you shouldn't even date nobody in jail. It's not real. That's why I didn't take it serious. It's not real. We're not going to see each other. It's not real. Hey I, hey, I wasn't touching nothing. Hey, I'm not fingering nothing. I'm not kissing nothing. Like, I done had, like, two, three kisses in there. I wasn't kissing them. They kissed me. I wasn't going. Like, for real, for real, I'm not getting rolled up for nobody. And that's a that can be another charge in there, no matter if both of y'all consent. They uh they weird like I'm not getting no charge for nobody no. Sorry I don't care. How do you know if you like girls? This hard for me to answer. To be honest I don't know. You just know like it's not no how do you know you just know type type deal like. Excuse me me. I had a boy and a girl pursue me and that was brothers and sisters and I wanted the girl so that's kind of how I like knew I really liked girls like plus I had dealt with a girl before that situation but you gotta think if you have a dude in front of you and a girl in front of you and you want the girl duh you're gay you, you want the girl you want the female come on now but I knew I liked girls for a minute how do you remain positive I don't know. I just be chilling. You know? Living living good like Larry. Are you in school? No, I graduated early and I have not started college or nothing. 
Are you coming out with a worth it remix? That's my ish. I mean, I could if I found somebody dope to be on it. Yeah. Mm. Are you going to watch Girls on Cars Rated and watch yourself on there? I have not did that yet, but I want to do a reaction video for y'all. So I might just let me know. Comment below. Do people notice you when you're out somewhere? Yeah, they do, but like not where I'm at now because like this is nowhere near where I used to be. Plus, I moved to Louisiana. I don't know nothing about Louisiana. I don't have no Louisiana. Like, I had people from all over, like New York and stuff, friend request and all that before I even got on the show. But like, I've never had nobody from Louisiana like add me on anything. Like, that's so different. So it's different. I don't know. Was it hard to come out? No. I had got a girlfriend. My girlfriend came over my house. My mama came in my room one day, seen us cuddling. She ain't say nothing. She ain't really care. Boom. Gay. This is my girlfriend. I kind of felt weird that my mama seen me cuddling her, though. I was like, that's weird. I don't know. I ain't know. I don't know how to feel. It was kind of weird. It was like... But then again, my mom ain't never seen me cuddle nobody, so that's the weirdest thing about it, so. But nah, I didn't really come out. It was like, boom, gay, got a girlfriend. Love it or not. Actually, my stepdaddy tried to uh, get on that weird stuff at the time. He was like, no, we don't do that in this house. That I'm like, she ain't going nowhere, nigga. This, this not even your house. Sorry, sir. Like, I didn't play none of that, so I knew, like, it was just that. He ain't like it. My mama was cool with it. That was just that. Boom. Gay. Do you ever blame anything in the reason why you went to LaPorte? My mama. I didn't even have to stay in jail. Like, all she had to do was speak up in court. So, yeah, I blame her. But at the end of the day, my actions got me there. Really? No. Well, yeah, I guess so. But really, it's just her not speaking up in court. They don't, a judge don't want to listen to no kid. They're not going to listen to you or believe you. So, yeah, it was her. She's the only thing that could have got me out. So, that's the reason. What's one thing you love about your supporters? To the real ones, I love y'all edits. I love how y'all motivate me. I love how you guys listen to the advice I give. What else? I love how y'all just support everything I do, like the businesses I want to start, everything. Excuse me. So that's four things I like about my supporters, the real ones. The fake ones, keep watching. I love it. I love it. Um, What is love to you? What is love to me? Like... I feel like love is a, like, love is a feeling. Love is non-existent as well as being existent in a sense of, I don't know. I feel like love is everything good. Love is, um, it depends on what you mean. Like, love from your significant other, parent, something like that. I feel like love should motivate you. Love should uplift you. Love should consume you in a good way. And sometimes the people you love, y'all could go through stuff. So, you know, at times love can be good as well as having its rough patches. But at the end of the day, love is love. Not every, nothing is perfect in the world. So you can't think love's going to be perfect. So, like, I think love is something that keeps you moving. And also, um, what am I trying to say? Love is something that keeps you moving as well as always supporting you. Whatever loves you will never leave you. Let me just say that. Because if it's real, it ain't going to go away. But sometimes if you love something, you have to let it go. Like say you're in a toxic situation. If you really love somebody and know that they can do better without you, let them go. But if it's real, it will come back. So 
basically what i'm saying is let somebody leave you to better themselves just to come back and y'all can come together better because sometimes y'all people need a break but i feel like love is everything i don't know it's just love is love for real it can come in different forms from different things what experience on girls and cars well your experience on girls and cars right um it was crazy but it was good like it was for, for being on the show it was different so i don't know i guess you seen i can, my my experience was kind of self-explanatory you seen it but i mean if you want to know what happened in jail ask about in jail and not the show and not like explain it more because I'm really answering the questions as they're asked. So, What's a fear of yours in life? I don't really... I'm not scared of nothing. I mean, if you want to know heights. I don't like heights. That's about it. Um, How you know who's within and not against you. I mean, for me, I ain't never had nobody, so I do know who is fake and who's not. But my thing is, this is something y'all should all do. If you have a problem with people telling your business, this and that, tell everybody the same stuff. Because, for one, you're not lying. Like, there's a difference between lying and not telling somebody. There's a difference between having your business and lying about business. The past, you don't have to tell nobody the past because you live that on your own. The past doesn't matter to nobody. So when you bring the past to the present, you're giving somebody something to talk about if they choose to. So basically what I'm saying is you have your own business. Uh, like say somebody asks you, did you cheat on me? Duh, you tell them the truth. But if somebody was to ask you, um about like who did you mess with before me how many people did you do this with or whatever the case is that is your business these are just examples but that is an example of that being your business if you love a person you love a person it don't matter about what's before you you loving a person for them now a past is a past so basically that's your business you can choose whether or not to tell somebody you're not lying because it's your business it's just you choosing whether or not to tell a person so, but like, say they ask you, hey, did you do this to me or did you that to me? And you lie. That's a lie. Okay. Um. So, this is the question I'm going to stop at. If you want to hear the answer, tune in for part two. And the question is, how is life being out of jail? So, if you want to tune in. Like, share, comment, or all that good stuff. And tune in for part two of Lear Q&A.